What happens if we poured the Earth's entire ocean onto the sun? Let's find out. First, we're gonna need a bucket. Nah, it's gonna need to be bigger than that. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, let's scoop this bad boy up. Now, shee, that's a lot of water. Drop the ocean! Damn, look at all that steam, though. Bro, this is like science class on steroids. Yo, the water's turning into plasma and the sun's getting bigger. Damn, boy! I wonder if life can survive on the sun now. Nope. Why are we still here just to suffer? Wait, now that all the water's gone, what's happening with Earth, though? These villagers that were fishing must be pretty confused. Y'all ever been land fishing? Wait, that's just hunting though. Oh, that's so sad. Look at all these sea creatures just suffocating. Yo! The deeper sea creatures are literally exploding because of the sudden loss of pressure. Oh! Bruh. All the corals and algae are dying too. Wait, aren't they responsible for like 40% of the world's oxygen? Uh, that's better. I guess no more oceans also means no more rain. Damn, this whole place is lit, literally. I guess no more rain also means forest fires. But you know, if you take away the sound of dying animals and just step back and take it in, it's kind of beautiful. Yo, this farm ain't looking like it's gonna be feeding anybody anytime soon. I mean, would you really want a burger of the cow be looking like this? These cows look like they haven't eaten in weeks. Someone get him a burger. Wait, hold on. I like how the entire world basically looks like the desert now. Wait, people have always lived in the desert, right? Maybe those guys have figured out how to survive this. Or not. Everyone's gone eight Bruh. on each other. It's survival of the fittest. Everyone for themselves out here. Bro, people are so dumb, they're literally fighting each other instead of working together when everyone's gonna die anyways. Wait, wait, look at this guy. Ah. He's telling everyone to stop fighting because they're stronger together. Arr. But this guy's saying there's only room for the strong, and he's not planning on sharing with the weak. Arr. He said everyone who wants to look for a better way should follow him. Hey, yo, this guy's leading a whole migration now. But I mean, bro, the ocean's gone. Like, where are you leading these people? Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a giant ship that's stuck on land. Still no water though. And y'all are literally migrating through the desert. It's only a matter of time before you get dehydrated. I guess I spoke too soon. They found some drinking water on the ship. The villagers live another day. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Is that the villagers? What are they doing here? Wow, I spoke too soon again. The villagers were stalking them this whole time. Yo, that's just mean. They let the villagers do the work and find the water only so they could steal it. These damn savages! Mission failed. Took their water and sent them on their way. I feel bad for these villagers. Arr. Yo, this guy's lost faith in their leader. He said the villagers were right this whole time. That's a lot less villagers than when we started. Wait, is that water? How is that possible? True, it must have been where the ice caps used to be. Now that they melted, they've turned into water. Hey, now they're building up a village around the lake. Yo, that's crazy. They're using mercury to bind the CO2 out of the air, turning it into calcite. Then they're using that same calcite to build their structures. The villagers live to village another day. <laughs> Guess I don't need this mask anymore. <laughs> I like how they're building a giant wall. I wonder what that's for. <laughs> wow, they're even building a system so that the water from the lake doesn't just evaporate and leave the atmosphere. Like, look, this special roof just traps all the moisture inside. Instead, it just rains back onto their farms. Bro, the ocean is literally gone and these villagers are still managing to build farms? Come on now. And the water is continuously recycled. Even their bathroom water. Like, I get it. Gotta survive and whatnot, but ew. Like, say the ocean disappears tomorrow. Are you drinking your own poop water? I don't know. You tell me. Damn, these villagers got it all figured out, eh? Huh? Oh, well, look who it is. Those damn villagers came back for more, eh? 
Wow, how shameless. They're literally surrendering. Nah, my guy, you can't consider this. If you let those dumb pillagers in, you're not gonna have enough water to sustain yourselves. <laughs> Yo, what? The villager leader said to let all the pillagers in. Has he learned nothing? <sighs> this is why nice guys always finish last. I get that you're trying to be the bigger person, but this has gotta be a mistake. Now what? It's a matter of time before they run out of water. Hey, it looks like the pillagers are helping them. I guess there's more hands to go around, but the question is, can you trust those hands? Looks like they're building some kind of giant mirror. Yup, the ocean is literally gone, and let's spend all our resources to build a giant mirror so we can look at ourselves more clearly. You guys definitely got your priorities straight. Oh, Bruh. they're launching it into space. Hold up. They're using it to block the heat from the sun. That's gonna make the earth cool down, which means oh, all of the CO2 in the atmosphere is turning into rain. Hey, these damn villagers did it again. They literally brought the ocean back. Plants and trees are growing again too now, since they got tons of CO2 to feed on. Maybe this guy was right. They're stronger together. Spoke too soon again. These damn pillagers never change, huh? They're betraying the villagers again inside their own city. Wow, these guys really got used, abused, and now exiled from their own home. Wait, they aren't just exiled from the city. They're being exiled from the planet. So y'all fixed Earth and then got kicked off of it. Like I said before, the nice guys always finish last. Now what? Ah. Yo, what? So apparently, the leader thought the villagers might try to pull something like this. So he had a backup plan. Back on Earth, he built a secret machine that's basically been taking water from the ocean and shooting it at the sun this entire time. The sun's been expanding and building up enough plasma on the outside, which makes it safe for them to take the next step. What's the next step though? Okay, so now they're mining the asteroids? Bro, I swear nothing can kill these villagers. They're like cockroaches in space. Hold up, are they building massive solar panels around the sun? Don't tell me these villagers are literally trying to harness the energy directly from the sun. Yo, they're literally building a space station. No, more like a man-made planet around the sun. Damn, this new planet looks like their city back on Earth, but like way more advanced. And I guess they got all this material from the asteroids that they were mining, but there's more. Not only do they have direct, endless sustainable energy from the sun, they also found a way to get back at those nasty betraying pillagers. Because they also control how much of the sun's light goes to other planets. Other planets like Earth. And if the pillagers don't want their lights literally turned off, they gotta keep paying taxes to the villagers. Now that's a fat W if I've ever seen one. 